Oops, that hurt. I think I just learned. Don't film, try to bike at the same time. All right, so I got back on the bike after that crash and then kept going, but that was definitely not the way I planned to start this video or that bike ride. I got a little scratched up, but luckily, I don't know how, I just didn't get hurt anywhere else other than like really slamming my special area right into uh, the metal bars. Painful. Duly noted, don't film and drive at the same time or you'll get wrecked. And with that, my friends, welcome to another full day of eating the vegan bodybuilder who's on a bulk. So I'm trying to gain muscle, trying to get a lot of calories in. So today I'm gonna to show you every single thing that I eat, hopefully give you some inspiration for some really high protein, but also delicious meals that are super easy to make for you. So without further ado, I just finished my 40 minute bike ride. Now I'm gonna go inside, drink a little bit of juice, and then get off to the gym. Hope you guys enjoy. Come along with me on this full day eating. Morning veggie juice, celery, carrots, spinach, and let's juice it. All right, not bad. <laughs> Sexy. All right, I'm gonna drink a bunch of water and I'm off to the gym. workout done I'm so pooped to be honest I, I gotta admit to you guys um, I woke up today really tired I didn't have a super great sleep last night and so there's two options when that happens because you know you have that planned workout but you can either say oh, okay I didn't sleep super good I'm just gonna take today's a rest day and push it to tomorrow or you can just get in there and force it even though it may not be the best workout and that's exactly what today was like I didn't make any PRs um, but I did have a really good workout I have a pretty decent pump right now. I feel pretty good. Um, and after about tw like 15, 20 minutes into the workout, that first part was really tough. But then once I got past that, then I started to get into the groove and I started to feel good while I was lifting. So hopefully this is just a little bit of motivation that if you are feeling that way right now, or if you feel that way anytime in the future, time to get home and get some food in. Okay, I'm back from the gym. I cannot wait to eat. So I, I was thinking about it and I was like, should I wait to actually cook my food or should I just get Chipotle on the way home? Someone just gave me a gift card. So I got myself a double wrap burrito here. So this might be useful for some people. People always ask what I order with my burrito. It's a double wrap burrito because you get extra calories. Brown rice, pinto beans, sofritas, and fajitas. And then I get the corn salsa, sometimes I get the spicy salsa, and then lettuce. Super simple. But the double wrap tortilla, you can also ask for extra rice and extra beans. All that's free. So it's a good way to get a big solid chunk of calories. And this thing's literally as big as my forearm, which is pretty nice. And I'm also having a little protein shake. This is a Vivo Life protein shake with some Vivo creatine in there as well, just to get everything in me really quickly and then we can get started on some of the meals for today. Okay, we're about to run to the store, but before I do that, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Helix Sleep. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you've heard me talk about them quite a few times. Before I had a Helix mattress, I was sleeping on a standard memory foam mattress, but the problem was it started collapsing in the middle because I'm a pretty heavy dude. Sam sleeps right on my chest, so a lot of weight right in the middle, and that was causing shoulder and back pain because when I sleep, my shoulders are getting rounded because the bed was collapsing. So I knew I had to change it and eventually I actually found out about Helix Sleep, which is so good. The nice thing is that they actually have a personalized sleep quiz you take online where you answer questions about your sleep preferences like preferred firmness, what kind of position you sleep in, and a few other questions. And then it gives you a personalized recommendation, which is super cool. So I'm a back sleeper, but sometimes, well, maybe more times I like to admit, I kind of flip into my side, uh, but I really like firmer mattresses again, because I'm heavy. So when I went through the quiz, it suggested that I get a Twilight Lux. So I got that in a queen. So the way that it works is they send the mattress to you in a big old box. You just take that box, drag it into the room that you're going to set it up in, open the box. There's this big cylindrical mattress in plastic. Just slice that open and then the bed will just open up and then you just position it where you want and that's it. Now getting a mattress online always seems kind of weird because you don't get to jump up and down on it in the store, you know, it's, you don't get really tested out. So it's actually really cool because Helix Sleep offers a hundred night sleep trial where basically you get to try out the mattress and if you don't love it by the end of a little over three months, you can ship it back and get a refund 
super simple. So if that's something that you're interested in, you should definitely check them out. They actually gave me a special link that's gonna get you up to $200 off, as well as two free pillows. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. I absolutely freaking love this mattress. You guys know I only talk about products that I actually really, really love and I actually use. This mattress, freaking really love. First thing in the description below. Now, we're going off to the store to get some ingredients for this delicious black bean soup. Okay, first stop, tortilla section. Always gotta get the corn tortillas, huh? Yep. That's your favorite? That's my favorite. <laughs> the flour tortillas are good too, but corn is just where it's at. All right, some enchilada sauce. You know where this is going. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, okay. Anytime we're at Target, we gotta check out the plant-based protein section if they have anything new or good. Yeah, we, we just tried these last week. These are the new Gardein ones. They were so good. They're fire. They remind me of something, I can't remember what it is right now, but they have like more breading than usual. They're really good. If you find them, you should try them. All right, so we pretty much got what we need. Uh, we're gonna head home and make some soup. Hey, Cobes, you ready to make this soup? You ready to make this soup? Let's make this soup. All right, guys, so we are making a multi-bean soup. This is gonna be really, really good. Here's what we start with. We got an onion that I minced up, a full onion. Then we have, I would say, maybe eight cloves of garlic. Can't overdo it. I got a bell pepper. This one's orange, diced up. And then I have maybe, I would say, about five or six mushrooms that are chopped up. This is all gonna go into the boiling pot, and we're gonna let it saute for about four or five minutes. Okay, so now we're pretty much just gonna add everything else. So right here, I've got three cans cans of beans. This is black beans, a can that was tri beans, so it was like kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, and at the bottom I have a can of garbanzo beans, chickpeas down there. I've also got a can of diced tomatoes here with no salt. I've got some unsweetened coconut milk. We're probably going to use just about a cup of that. I've got my spices and my veggie broth. All right, so everything is translucent. It's been nice and cooked up, so now we're adding everything else. First the beans, can of the diced tomatoes, four cups of veggie broth, roughly a cup of this coconut milk. Doesn't really matter. This is gonna add some creaminess to it. It's gonna make it taste real nice. Okay, then we're doing spices. So we got one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, two to three teaspoons of cumin, and maybe just about a teaspoon of some red chili peppers just to add a little bit of some heat in there, a little spice. And finally, about a cup of some frozen mixed vegetables so we can get some greens in. And we're just gonna basically stir this together Together, let it simmer, and we're probably gonna let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes while the flavors kind of combine, uh, and then it'll be pretty much done. So we'll come back in about 10 minutes. All right, so the soup is pretty much done cooking. We lost a little bit of uh, well, like liquid. We kept the top off the whole time so it could get a little thicker. So I actually just got a package of nutritional yeast in, so I'm gonna put some in there, maybe like a three quarter cup, makes every soup better. And then you don't have to do this, but I like to use an immersion blender to blend just like maybe a quarter of the soup and it makes it a little thicker. And then as you can see, it kind of adds this like, uh, I don't know, like this, I don't even know how to describe it. It just blends everything up a little bit. It makes it a little creamier instead of just a bunch of chunks, which is kind of nice. So I'm actually gonna let this simmer for just another two minutes because I'm realizing it's a little thick. So yeah, another two minutes, and then I'm gonna put this in bowls and we're gonna chow down. Right, so as you saw, I put some quinoa on the side here. Sometimes I do toast, and sometimes I just take whatever's in the fridge, quinoa, rice, whatever, and just add it in there. Just add a little thick mass, a little carbs, a little protein. One thing I think is really nice about being vegan and also learning to cook a little bit is that this soup is just an amalgamation of everything that was in my house. Like you make a soup out of anything, and just the slightest changes makes this soup completely unique, which is pretty sweet. Anyways, I'll shut the hell up and have a little taste test for you. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's good. She hot, the soup, and you. Aww. Hey girl. That's so good. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of a soup I used to get at Chili's back in the day. It's so good. All right, so a little fun in the kitchen. It's getting windy now, so we're gonna eat this and then I will see you guys a little bit later for the big old dinner. It's gonna be good. All right guys, we are going to make some enchiladas, but we're gonna do it in a different way than the way that you probably have already made enchiladas many times. We're gonna do flat enchiladas. And the reason we're doing this is because corn tortillas are so small that you can't fit a lot in each you know, rolled enchilada. Basically think of this as like a Mexican lasagna, right? We're gonna layer the, the tortillas and then put the fillings in between. Another layer of tortillas, fillings, tortillas, and then sauce. It's actually super good and it's easier and takes less time, but it tastes exactly the same. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So let's go inside, let's make this happen. Alrighty. Okay, so for the fillings of the enchiladas, we are going to use potato. We got some mushrooms, corn, cause we're, you know, doing a little like a little vegan chicken enchilada thing here. So we got the vegan corn corn chicken pieces here. And then I have a block of extra super firm tofu. And you guys know what I do with this, the trick. I freeze it and then I thaw it. And apparently if you freeze it and thaw it twice, it's even better, but I didn't have time today. So I'm gonna cut this into chunks and this into chunks. And then we're gonna start the layering process. All right. 
right, our enchiladas are stacked. We put some Vio Life mozzarella on there, and this is gonna go in the oven at 425, I would say for about 30 to 45 minutes, probably closer to 45 minutes. All right, just came out of the oven, and it is smelling good. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put this on a plate to see what it looks like. All right, so you guys saw, put a little green onions on there for a little contrast of color. About to give it a little tasty test though. Yeah, this better be good because there's this old dude at Target that was just raving about this sauce. So here we go, cheers. Yo, old dude at Target was right. So out of all my full day eatings, I think this may have been the saltiest one, to be honest. I know this is way more salt than I usually do. Sometimes you just gotta let your freak flag fly and just eat whatever you want, so whatever. But I do have to say that the meals that we ate in today's video were really hearty, really, really yummy, and really, really high in protein. So I think this was a successful full day eating. I'm about to eat this and probably get another plate of it as well. All right, and just like that, we've reached the end of another full day of eating. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. It helps this video get out to way more people. You can never underestimate how much engaging gets videos out to other people. And if you enjoyed my recipes, check out my recipe book, eatveganordietrying.com. It's got 39 super delicious, high protein, easy to make recipes just like this one. You're gonna really enjoy it. So check that out, put it in the description and below as well. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram so you can see what I'm doing on a daily basis in my personal life. And I will see you beautiful people in the very next video. Peace. Team Young Week. CT Every Time